one of the world's holiest cities. My name is India and today we are going to explore the holy city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is located in the heart of Israel. It is a holy city to Jews, to Christians, and to Muslims. This is remarkable because no other place on earth is considered holy by all three major world religions. Right now, we are in the oldest part of Jerusalem. It is called the Old City. It is divided into four quarters. The Jewish quarter, the Muslim quarter, the Christian quarter, and the Armenian quarter. Everything in the old city is made of this sand-colored stone. It really makes you feel like you've stepped back into ancient times. And speaking of ancient times, welcome to the Western Wall here in the Jewish quarter. What you are seeing now is the last remaining piece of the Second Holy Temple. It is over 2,000 years old and the holiest place that the Jewish people are allowed to visit. Jews from across the world still come here to pray and gather. There is a side for women to pray and a side for men to pray. But the prayers at the Western Wall don't always have to be spoken. You can come to write your own prayers on a piece of paper and place them inside the wall. The Western Wall is a deeply intense place, unlike anywhere I've ever experienced. Here, you can feel the heartbeat of the Jewish people. But you may be surprised to find out that the Western Wall is not the holiest place in Judaism. If you look on the other side of the wall, you will find an even holier site actually located in the Muslim quarter. This is the Temple Mount, the holiest site in Judaism and the third holiest site in Islam. It is also a holy site to Christians as well. For the Jews, it is holy because it was the location of the first and second temples. However, Jews are generally forbidden to enter here. The Temple Mount is holy to Muslims because it is home to the third holiest mosque in Islam, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. On the Temple Mount, there is one monument that you can see radiating across Jerusalem. It is called the Dome of the Rock. They say here the Islamic prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. And this is one reason why the Temple Mount is such a sacred place for Muslims to pray. Now there is one place here in Jerusalem that is particularly holy to Christians. The Church of the Holy Sepulcher. It is the place where they say Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected. This church is in the Christian quarter of the Old City. When you walk into the church, you will see that the lighting is quite dim. You will hear the sound of chanting and singing, as well as see artwork that tells the story of Jesus' death and resurrection. Here is where they say Jesus was held in prison. Here, they say, is where his cross stood. And here, they say Jesus himself was buried. As you walk through the church, you can see faith-filled people meditating and praying. From the Western Wall, the Temple Mount, to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, Jerusalem is home to some of the holiest sites there is so much left to say about Jerusalem, one of the oldest cities on the planet. That is why I believe that each and every one of you should visit Jerusalem to see with your own eyes this glorious place. This is the holy city of Jerusalem. This is Inside Israel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.